What's going on YouTube? Ultimate iDevice vids here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1 on the iPod Touch third generation, iPod Touch fourth generation, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and the iPad 1. This jailbreak won't work on the iPhone 4S, iPad 2, or iPad 3, but I will keep you updated on the jailbreak status for those devices. And this jailbreak is tethered. This means every single time you turn off your device, the next time you turn it on, anything you install from Cydia or Cydia itself won't work. And Cydia is what you get when you jailbreak, of course. And also, Mail and Safari will not work after a restart. And to get those things working, what you need to do is plug back into your computer, run something on Red Snow called Just Boot Mode, which I will show you guys how to do, of course. But it definitely is worth um, jailbreaking, in my opinion, even though it is tethered. And I'll keep you guys updated on the untethered jailbreak status, of course. And this jailbreak will work on Mac and Windows computers. The process is the same for both. And to download the program, which we're going to be using the jailbreak, which is Red Snow, there will be two links down below in the description for Mac and Windows versions of Red Snow. So click on that link, and then it will take you to the site where you can download it. Once you have it downloaded, it will look like this. And I'm going to show you on Windows right now. And this is my iPod Touch 4th generation. And I'm going to show you that it is on 5.1.1. Uh, I want you to check before you continue, of course, by going to Settings, General, About. And look at your version. Make sure it does say 5.1.1, as you can see mine does. And I don't have Cydia, as you can see. And I'm going to show you how to install it, of course. So all you need to do is plug in your device to the computer. And once you have Red Snow downloaded, if you're on a Windows computer, be sure to right click on Red Snow and then click run as administrator. Yes. And if you're on Mac, just double click on it and open it normally. But anyways, once you're at this uh, the screen here, all you have to do is click the jailbreak button. And then the next step is just to turn off your device. Make sure it is plugged in and then turn it off. Alright, so once it's off, uh, you're going to click the little next button right here. And then, once you do that, it's going to ask you to set your device into something called DFU mode. It will walk you through the process, and I'm just going to do that quickly. Click next. And then hold the power button for 3, 2, 1. Power and home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and continue to hold the home button. And your device will enter DFU mode in just a second here. Alright, there we go. So now you can let go of the home button once it says identifying. Alright, so here, the most important thing you need checked is, of course, install Cydia, which will automatically be checked. If you want any other options there, like enable battery percentage for the iPod Touch, you could check those. But the most important thing for all devices is that install Cydia is checked, and then click Next. Alright, so, th so then you'll see the screen downloading jailbreak data, and just be patient and let this run its course. When it does say moving applications like it does now, that can take up to five minutes, so just be patient. Alright, so once your device has restarted after the jailbreak, slide to unlock. And wherever you had space on your home screen, you will have Cydia. But as you can see, it's white, and if I try to open it, 
it just crashes, it just doesn't open. And that's the same thing that happens with Safari, as you can see here, and Mail. It just doesn't work. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a tether jailbreak, and uh, after a restart, this will be the result every time. So Cydia won't work, and as you can see, it's white also, and Mail and Safari will also not work. And this is the process which I'm about to show you and what you're going to need to do every single time you turn off your device in order to get full functionality and be able to use these things. So all you need to do is um, go into Red Snow again, and once you're at the main menu, go into Extras, and click Just Boot Tethered Right Now, okay? Then make sure your device is connected and just turn it off again. So once it's off, just click next, and then you're gonna have to put your device into DFU mode again. And again, this is the process you'll need to do every time you turn off your device to get full functionality. Push the power button for three seconds, together with the home button for 10 seconds. Again, it will count you down on red snow, so you could follow those instructions if you have any troubles. And then let go of the power button and just continue to hold the home button. Once this is identifying, you could let go. And it's just going to reboot your device for you. You will get this pineapple logo. So that's what's supposed to happen. So once your device has restarted again, slide to unlock. And now, Cydia has its normal color, as you can see, and if I try to open it, it works perfectly. There you go, you can select your user option. Alright, so that's it at Jailbreak iOS 5.1.1. And also, uh, Mail and Safari will now work, so I'll just show you. I'll go into Safari. As you can see, it works perfectly, as normal. And Mail will also work. There you go. And of course, Cydia will also work. And again, you will need to do that tether boot step every single time you turn off your device in order to get those things working, but it's definitely better than, um, in my opinion, of not being jailbroken at all. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, like this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments, of course, and I'll reply as soon as I can. So thanks for watching this video. Peace.